what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create your own mock or dummy api using postman now you might be wondering why would we need the dummy or mock api well it has many use cases and in many scenarios you would want to have a mock api for example if you are working on some feature on your web app where you want your front-end engineers and back-end engineers to work in parallel on the same feature so in that case, what you can do is you can create a mock API and give it to your front-end developers so they don't have to wait for the back-end engineers to develop the APIs. The other scenario where you might want to use mock API is that let's say you want to integrate some external API that doesn't really have a testing environment. In that case, you can mock their responses and develop your logic and code according to that, test it, and then you can go live with the integration. Other scenario where you might want to use mock API is whenever you are trying to create a prototype before actually writing your API, you want to get the feel of how it's going to look. So in that case, you can create a mock API as well. Now you can see I'm on the Postman and in Postman, we can easily create a mock API. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to go to the sidebar and we have this option called mock server. But if you don't see this option, go to this uh, icon right here, which says configure workspace uh, sidebar, click on it. And make sure that you toggle this mock server on. Once you toggle it on, you will see this option on your uh, left hand side of Postman. So go to the sidebar, click on this mock server. Let me just close the overview. Uh, then uh, what you need to do is you first need to click on this mock server and you need to click on this plus icon, which says create mock server. And you will be greeted by something like this. Uh, here we have two options. We can create a new collection or select an existing collection. What this really means is that we are going to create endpoints and then we are going to create a collection around those endpoints where we can send the requests. So for example, you can see we have this table right here and uh, Postman gives us a URL to our mock API. Now, only thing that we need to do is define the endpoints. So for example, we define an endpoint, say test. And you can see we have all the HTTP methods here that we can use. For example, we have get, post, put, patch, delete. We can use whatever we want. In this case, we are going to use the get. And let's say we want the response to be success. So whenever someone sends a request to our URL slash test, it will uh, give them the success as a response. It's going to be a simple text string. Let's create another one. Let's name it test2. And let's make it a post now optionally what you can do here is you can click here and add the request body let's see how that looks let's say the request body in the request body we want to send json and we want to say user id equals to two and the response body we want to say again okay nothing too fancy here Let's define a third one. Let's say test three. This time we don't want the request body and it's going to be a get request. And this time let's return JSON. Let's return message equals to success. So you can see, you can play around it with this and you can basically create mock of any endpoint that you want. You can define the request body and you can define the response codes as well as whatever the response you will get back from the endpoint. Now, if I click on next, now I need to name this uh, mock server. I'll name it code bear. I'll leave the other options as they are and click on create mock server. You can see a mock server was created here. And uh, if you look here, it says no server calls yet because we didn't make any calls to this uh, mock server. But if we send some requests to the server, this uh, area right here will show us all the requests that are sent to this uh, mock server. Now, as I told you that uh, we are going to create a new collection. And if I go to the collections, you can see a brand new collection is created for me and it has all the endpoints that we just defined right so this is very useful if we want to test our mock server so if i click on the first request you can see it is going to url slash test this url is automatically assigned by postman to our mock server so we don't need to worry about it so this is the first endpoint and if i send the request and you can see we get this response back which says success this is exactly what we defined in our mock endpoint 
if we go to the second request and if i go to the body section you can see we have the same uh, body that we defined and if i send the request you can see it says okay this is exactly what we defined in our mock server we want to get the response okay on this endpoint let's go to the third one let's send it you can see this time we get this different response that we defined and it works perfectly so this is basically how you can create your mock servers using the postman and it's very helpful uh, you should use them if you have the need to use them and yeah this is pretty much it now you can take these concepts and you can apply them and create more complex mock apis uh, whatever you want to do yeah this is it uh, i hope you learned something new from this video i'll see you in the next one until then peace out